Yama and Tushita are two cursed swords in Bloxford. Why are they cursed, you might be wondering? Well, because you need 350 mastery on both of them to get their upgraded form, when you only need 300 mastery for its second move? Like what? But despite this, these swords, when combined, become the <laughs> strongest sword in the game. And today, I'm finally getting it. To do that, there are three steps we need to complete. Step one, we need to level both Yama and Tushita to 350 mastery. Step two, we need to reach level 2200. And what level am I? Oh, would you look at that? Only 2012. And step three, we have to... No, I don't actually know why I was sailing away because we need to head to the haunted castle because that's where my quests are. Because the fastest way that we're going to be able to get the cursed dual katana is by leveling up at the same time as getting mastery. And the best way for me to do that right now is to defeat... I don't even know what my quest giver gives. Skeletons? Yep. Yeah, wait, actually, no, hang on. We're upgrading. We've got to defeat eight zombies. Now, because this is going to be a very spooky episode, I also want to change from a furry to something even spookier. That, that is, is more like, like it. it. This is spooky. This is the cursed part of the cursed katana now. We're really looking the part now. I just need two of them. I've only got one sword right now. Now that I'm a ghoul, I can fight these living zombies and get absolutely loads of health regen. How much mastery I get from one of these guys? I get actually quite a lot. You know what? This is surprisingly not a bad way to get mastery. I am just like dying right now though, so I need to use my little crows to heal me. 150 mastery, I get my first move called Hellish Slash. And 102. My awakening just ran out. That's not good. You know, these zombies are actually pretty easy to take down. We've already done seven of eight. It also might be because you Yama is just busted. There we go. Big level up. 2015 now. Only 200 to go. And there we go. A couple quests later, we've got our first move called Hellish Slash. And because I'm buffed at nighttime, I do even more damage and stuff. So let's see this. Hellish Slash. Bro, I just became a Beyblade. And it made no sound effects. That was so anticlimactic. Wait, I gotta try that again. Hellish Slash. Oh, that was actually clean. When it's got the sound effects and it's not like what it was the first time, that's cool. Oh, wait, I realized something as well. It's nighttime right now, which means if we go over here, then we can come in here and we can do some gacha. Yes. Did this skeleton go away? Why are you trying to fight me? Okay, cool. Death King. If I trade bones, then I can maybe get something to help me level up faster. I got some fragments. More fragments. This is gonna go so badly. Some money. <laughs> 10 minutes of double XP. That's what I like to see. Another 10 minutes of double XP. Maybe another. Three for three. Oh, we got fragments. And I got some money. Well, that's just tragic. I guess we go back to grinding the good old fashioned way. I think if I do this quest like one more time, then maybe I'll be able to move on to the next one. Like already. The fastest way to do that is to fight every single zombie all at once. There we go. New quest available. What does he want me to go? In Inside the castle. Okay. Demonic souls. I've got to defeat eight of them. Well, there's three of them. This will be not too difficult. Make them all angry at me. These crows are really useful for getting aggro. But they're demonic souls and they have the bomb fruit. Make it make sense, Blocks Fruits. Make it make sense. You know, when I was grinding away with my puny little weak katana last time getting these swords, it was taking me so long to defeat like one mob. But now I defeat them in like four hits. I mean, four might be a stretch, but like eight hits maybe. And that is level 2050. In fact, that's level 2051, which means we also have a new quest now. Yama is 281. So that's getting really close to not only getting the next move, but being completely finished. Then we can move on to Tushita. But then also, I've really got to worry about the third stage, which, which is going to be completing the puzzle. Well, we've got a new quest. Let's check it out. What we got to do now? We've got to fight possessed mummies. Are they even any strong? Oh, they are kind of strong. Actually, not really. <laughs> well, I guess now the grind once again continues until we get maybe the next quest or Yama to 300. I'd be happy with either. Oh my god, I was too absorbed in the grind. I didn't even realize that Yama has reached over 300, which means we've got our new move called Infernal Hurricane. That just sounds devious. Let me test it out on this guy. Infernal Hurricane. Oh, I charged something up. It might be too good to use it on that guy. Let me use it on that guy over there. Boom! Never mind, that was really cool, but I didn't think it was going to be that close range because it's got a hurricane in the name. Attempt number two, charge it up. Boom. Oh, that is clean. I love moves like that in this game where you like charge up for a second and then release it. Can it hit multiple enemies at once? That's what I need to test as well. Okay, here goes. The test. Oh, it's like a proper anime move, that one. You don't even look at them. Wait, I've got an idea. I need mastery and I need it fast. So it's time to go check out some of the bosses like Cake Queen. Is she around? Oh, she is. Perfect. Take this, Cake Queen. Infernal Hurricane. Oh, I do damage. And when I dash, my crows hit her as well. This is like the ultimate race to defeat K-Queen. And there we go. The better swordsman wins. And I got eight mastery levels for that. That's not too bad. Oh, wait. I can also fight Ligma now, I think. Let's go see if he's in his cave. Like, he's supposed to be a super OP swordsman, but he has not seen me before. Oh, there he is. He's standing there with his, like, puny sword. Let's do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is that move? Wait, I don't have that move on this sword. How's he doing that? He's like me, but better. 
Ow. I'm sorry in advance, Longma. But you no longer get to live. Boom. 324 mastery on Yama. And with this kill, this will be the final one we need. There we go. Yama mastery level 350. Honestly, didn't take too much grinding. I mean, I'm going to be incredibly annoyed if it's like 400 you actually need or something. And I've just been lied to from the wiki. That would be a sick joke. But now we can equip Tushita, which is like a white sword. It looks kind of clean when I'm in my devil mode. The sword also does insane amounts of damage, it looks like. I like this. But we've got a brand new quest. Where are we going? now. Find the NPC at Sea of Treats, which is perfect because I was starting to see the problem with Haunted Castle. Like, I wasn't getting enough XP at all. I got to defeat eight peanut scouts. Where are they? Oh, literally right here. Perfect. This should be actually surprisingly easy to get my Tushita mastery. I'm also genuinely curious. Is it Tushita or is it like Tushita? Or is it like, is the two silent? Is it just like Cheetah? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is it's OP. These two swords. Oh, they're going to be so good. I can't wait. I'm going to be built different. Finally, I might actually be able to like beat people in PvP and an absolute Absolutely no time. New skill available. Got a move called the Heavenly Lunges. All right, let's test it out. Heavenly Lunges. Oh, wait, that's the move that Ligma was using. It's like multi-stabs. Wait, 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 I gotta use this again. Can I like look straight up? Can I hit him up? Oh, I can. Wait, this seems really strong. What if I use it like from above? Like, will I pin him to the floor? 5k damage? Wait, this sword's better than Yama. At least I think so. Like, that's so strong. It does it stun as well. Yeah, good luck ever trying to get out of that peanut scout. Boom. He's finished. Oh, it's so clean. And once again, we can move on to the next NPC. Oh, it's over here. Wait, am I finally getting the NPC that I can fight these mobs with? Because way long ago when I did my Dark Step video, I fought these mobs when I was like 500 levels below them for some reason. Yep, ice cream chefs. Oh, they're these guys. Yeah. Now I just need to grind here for a little bit. And we're incredibly close to getting our final move. Celestial Ravager. I just can't wait to see it, to be honest. Like, this better be worth a 300 mastery. Yes, here it is. We've got the move. Celestial Ravager. All right, Ice Cream Chef, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to you. But here goes. Boom. Oh, that's clean. Combined with that Heavenly Lunges move, this sword is OP. I want to use it again. All right, so if I hit him with one of these, and then as soon as he gets low, boom. Oh, they both have such good travel moves and damage moves. Can't get much better than this. And they look so cool. They've got like the demonic aura. My Tushita has well over 350 mastery now. But more importantly, I'm now actually strong enough to do the Cake Queen quest. I never thought the day would come. But now if I defeat Cake Queen, not only will I get a ton of mastery, but I'll get 112 million XP. All right, Cake Queen, it has to be done. I just need the XP. It's gonna be so much. I actually can't wait. I wish fighting the Cake Queen was like way easier in Buddha form though, because this is impossible. But I'm so close. 24 levels and then I'm done. I don't have to do this ever again. Here we go. This is going to give me so much XP. Take this, Kate Queen. Boom. So much damage. She's never seen that kind of damage before. Wait, let me do it again. Can she finally die? How is she not dead yet? Take this. Oh, only two levels. I mean, we've got a ton of mastery though, so I'll take it. 22 more levels. Ooh, we're getting close. Only 15 more levels. The big Tushita is honestly like the ultimate play. You can hit things from so far away. Like this is a true cursed sword right here. The final boss. I literally only need two more levels and then I'm completely done. So we're going to defeat the Cake Queen because it's only like, it's poetic. She can't stop me. Let's go. Celestial Ravager. Perfection. Level 2200, which means it's time. Step three of getting the cursed dual katana. We need to complete a puzzle. And this puzzle, I think, is located all the way up here at this giant stone tower. I think. I hope it's this one. Was it a different stone tower? Was it this one over here? This one's got like a big base, so it would kind of make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. The crypt master. He's the crypto master. He's got a lot of cryptocurrency. I think you can handle it. I can open the way for you if you want. Okay. It should be open now. Good look in there. Good looking where? What am I doing now? To begin, the player must talk to the crypt master. We've done that. There was no useful info in the wiki, so we're doing this the old-fashioned style. We're just walking right in. I'm in. This is the crypt. We've got, like, some devils. Wait, that's me. They drew me. Wow, that's so cool. Wait, what do I have to do? Okay, let's click on one of these scrolls. Pedestal. Interact. Pain and suffering. Haze of misery. Fear the reaper. What does that even mean? That's the Yama scroll. Hang on. So this one is the, yeah, the Tushita scroll. Dark legend. Sense of duty. Soulless. What does any of that mean? Well, I guess we'll do the first trial. Dark 
dock legend. I'm about to become a legend of the dock. What does that mean? Talk to three different boat dealers in three different islands and select pardon me when on the last page of boats. How would anybody figure that out normally? Rest in peace, the fallen soldiers who were the first ones to try and get this dual katana. I respect their sacrifice. But we need to go find a port, which I believe there is one all the way on the other side over this way. And luckily I have the portal fruit so I can just teleport to the other ones. That's going to save some time. But we come over here and it said pardon me, right? Hello, Mr. Boatman. Okay, so we talk to him. Next, next. Pardon me. Hey, traveler, I recognize you. It's pleasant to see a familiar face around here. All right, this is dock man number two. So I just go to the final page. Pardon me. He recognizes me. Okay, cool. And now we need one more. Let's go to the great tree. All right, this should be the final one we need. Pardon me. Obtained Alucard fragment. We've got a Dracula fragment. Where? Oh, mythical material. Wait, that's sick. Said to grant the user immense power. Okay, Roblox. That's kind of cool. I respect that. Okay, let's go do the other parts of the quest. I think I have to come back and talk to it first, though. Sense of duty. The second trial. What would this mean? Like, hunt players or something? Like, duty? Are you troll? Kill a pirate in the pirate raid at the castle on the sea once. So I have to wait for a castle? When was the last castle raid? Like, an hour ago? Can I skip this one? Nope, I cannot skip this one. Can I do them at the same time? The scroll appears to be blank. Are you? I gotta wait for... Okay, never mind sense of duty. This is gonna be sense of boredom. Pirates have been spotted approaching the castle. Literally perfect timing. I was about to go AFK. I'm going Buddha form. I'm not taking any chances. Okay, nice. Nice. That's one. This should be the second quest of the scroll complete. I think you literally only have to get like one pirate kill and then they count and then boom. But let's just destroy them all just to be safe. I have managed to get another Alucard fragment, which also means I can head back and I can go find out what my third and final task is. I am back, cursed room. What I gotta do now? Third trial is called Soulless. I gotta like eat a revive fruit or something. First, go to Cake Queen. Upon the first hit, a song will play in the background. And then I have to defeat Cake Queen before the song ends. I'll be teleported to heaven. Wait, why do I get put to heaven if I win the fight? That makes no sense. I guess we're heading to the cake queen. I need to fight cake queen and beat her within two minutes. Wait, there's some music playing. Oh, wait, it said that would happen. Wait, it'd be kind of bad if I like died. I've got two minutes to defeat her. Come on, squad, help me out. And then once I do this, I'm going to heaven. Is that what it said? Come on, guys. We've not got long. I need to kill her faster. Please. I don't want to lose. How am I supposed to know when the music's going to run out? Surely I have enough time, right? Loading. Heavenly dimension. Light the torches and defeat the enemies. I can do that. Oh, there's like just a random beam of light. Oh, it like turns. Whoa. Oh, this area is sick. Wait, a torch. Light torch. And defeat the enemies. Okay, I got this. Celestial Revenger. Oh, these are extra spooky skeletons. They're the cursed skeletons. Wait, but I I'm in heaven though. Why are there cursed skeletons in heaven? Are there gonna be heavenly skeletons in the cursed area? These guys are easy. Give me more of a challenge game. We've lit up one torch. Where are the other ones? Light torch. That's torch number two. Okay, that's two skellies dead. And then just these final two. That's that's another one. And then there's another. Okay, right. Now I just need to find the... Oh, there it is. The last torch. Oh my god. That skeleton's got the light through. Okay, I'm becoming a ghoul. This feels all kinds of rock. Whoa. Heaven's Guardian. Holy damage. Yo, chill, Heaven's Guardian. Ain't that deep, bro. All right, I gotta have observation on. Sticky pellet. Celestial Revenger. That's right. My slingshot does damage. You best be careful. Heavenly lunges. Huge. Am I fighting God? I mean, it makes sense. Bro's strong. Sticky pellet. That's right. I'm gonna hit God with a sticky pellet. My damage is going crazy. Boom. He's defeated. Where do I go now? I've lit up the three torches. The door's glowing. Okay, I, I guess let's walk through. Here goes. Obtained Alucard fragment. The scroll reacts to your achievements. So have I done this now? The scroll burst into flames and disappeared. Oh, so now we do the second one. The Yama scroll. We've got to go through pain and suffering, the haze of misery, and then we've got to fear the reaper. All right, what's pain and suffering? It can't be worse than the other ones, surely, right? Pain and suffering, we have literally got to take 10k damage from an NPC or player with the Yama equipped. Really is pain and suffering. Okay, I need to find somebody to hurt me. Please, anybody, come bully me. I need to take 10k damage. I've got 12k health, so this should be easy. Ah, wait, is that Yama? Yes, yes. Hit me more. I need more pain and suffering. One more time. Okay, that, that's enough pain and suffering. That's enough. Is that done? Wait, how much more pain? What? Take heavy damage from an NPC or player with Yama equipped. It may not work first time, so keep trying. I'm on life support. What? How much more heavy damage do I need? We're resetting. Attempt number two. Guys, I need more pain and suffering. Yes, yes, yes. I'm feeling the Yama pain. I need more damage. Yes. A couple more times. All right, that's enough. Oh, broken control himself. Okay, attempt number three. Okay, right, good. Good, good. Right, chill, chill. One more for good luck. 
Perfect. All right, that should be 10k damage of pain and suffering. Now we've got to do the haze of misery. Oh, this is cool. Wait, what do I have to do? The player's vision will fog. Purple round marking will appear on a group of NPCs. The player will have to kill the group that currently has the marking. Once killed, the marking will switch to a different one. I'm looking for a purple round marking. Am I meant to be easily able to find this? Oh, I found one. It's this guy. Okay. Easy. Oh, another one. Oh, is it the same like group of mobs? Is that how it works? That's number two. Oh, there's number three. I hit him a bit too far. Okay, that's number three. Where do I go from here? Is there more? Oh, wait. Yeah, there's another one. But I just keep farming these guys. Bro, I'm not here to mastery grind again. Please, no. Oh, my God. Another one. Are we done yet? How many more? Oh, this guy doesn't have it anymore. Have they lost the purple? Where do I go now? I guess I should probably check around the island just to make sure. Yes. Good job I checked the island. Magma Rear Admirals. That's two. Yep, there's more up here. Oh, there are so many of this one. The purple has disappeared. Okay. Is that everything from this island? I can't remember. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Let's double check. Bold man. Yep, he's not got purple. Oh, I found him. It's the spooky, scary skeletons. Wait, they've already lost the purple already? Are you joking? Okay, I guess we're done with the spooky, scary. Ah, inside. This seems like it could be so easy to fail this one. I could be on this for literal hours. I was grinding here not too long ago. Okay, I got a demonic wisp. There's still more of these purple dots. Okay, purple dot gone. Oh, there's things outside there. Anything down here with purple dots? Yep. Am I just killing every mob in the entire game? Is that what's happening? This is actually a really fun quest. It's like a treasure hunt, except you have to kill the treasure. <laughs> really is just like one of every single one now. Does that mean I'm getting close? One of these. Yep, just one of those. I guess I'll go check around the other side as well, because I think there's a mob on the other side of this island. And there is. Okay. Wait, how many more mobs have I got to do? I'm so confused. How is it not finished yet? What else do I need to do? Chocolate bar battler. Does the fog clear once I find them all? I think I actually am like hunting basically one of every single mob in the third sea. Oh wait, two of this one. Why is it like random... Oh, yes. The scroll reacts to your achievements. Obtained a la carte fragment. How many do I have now? Damn, I'm rolling in a la carte fragments. I got five. Now we can head back to the turtle mansion and we can start the final phase for getting cursed dual katana. Now, hopefully this one's easy. Fear the reaper. Oh, what does that mean? Am I going to have to use the hollow scythe? Like, that's the only reaper, like, thing that I have. So using my super smart knowledge that I've now gained, the soul reaper must be spawned using a hollow essence. Then the player must let the soul reaper kill them and the I'll be teleported to hell. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to hell. Yeah. Let's go. I got some bones. Random surprise. Oh, <gasps> first try. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Here we go. Hello, Essence. An unknown being has entered this world and he's ready to absolutely destroy me. That's why I'm here. Take me down. I'm ready to go to hell. Do it. Here goes. <laughs> this is hell. It's way more Robloxy than I was expecting. Oh, this is so cool. Where are the torch? Am I blind? I don't see any torch. Ah, there's one. Light torch. Oh no, it's just the same skeletons as last time, but they're like higher leveled this time, I think. Weren't the other ones 2,000 before? Are these ones 2, 200? Either way, these guys have been well and truly destroyed. There we go. This is exciting. I need to try my hardest not to die. Hell's manager. Oh God, he's got a dark fruit. Kind of makes sense, actually. Heaven had a light fruit. This guy's got a dark fruit. All right, we'll beat up the skeletons really fast. Don't mind me, Mr. Hell manager. Let me just beat your minions. All right, it's just me and you. I can see now. Awaken. That's right, I'm a ghoul. I'm exactly where I belong, in hell. Let's go, Hell's manager. You can't even beat me. I'm healing too too much. Oh my god. Wait, he's kind of creepy. Kind of spooky. I mean, he's literally dead, but like, he was kind of spooky. And now we can go up the green portal. Alucard fragment number six. Here it is. I'm gonna wait for my awakening to run out. Then we're gonna burn this final scroll. And then hopefully I get cursed dual katana and I don't have to do anything else. Here goes. Open sesame. The scroll bursts into flames and disappears. Interact. The six shards of the legendary Alucard gem react to each other. There's like a mini cut. Ooh. Oh, what's happening? Wait, there's just a skeleton? Cursed skeleton boss. Is this it? Is this the final boss? Bro's the final boss. <laughs> just one of the weaklings from before. Oh, he is not a weakling. Ow. One hit did that much? Okay, then. Let's go. Yo, can you guys leave? I'm trying to have my epic battle. Bro, these guys are just stood here while I'm having my epic moment. Can they go away? I'm having my final 1v1. This is for everything. I'm not dying here. I'm, I'm living life on the edge. Celestial Ravager. Boom. What's going on? Black screen? Hello? Bro, I've literally reset my character. I'm in permanent darkness. Listen to my little feet walking around. What's happening? Happening. I gotta restart my game. Well, I've spawned back in and oh my god, I see it. I've got two swords at my hip. That was so anticlimactic because of the black screen situation, but here it is. The cursed dual katanas. Oh, look at them. They're so cool. Now I just need to get 375 mastery to get both of its moves. The first victim of my cursed swords is Captain Elephant. The damage is actually kind of going crazy. I like it. If I combine this with the Buddha fruit as well, then we can do something a little bit cheeky. We can get a giant cursed dual katana. Yes. This took 
took so many hours of grinding. It took literally two parts to do this. But we're at the final stretch now. We just need to get these last two moves. And to do that, we're just going to keep on fighting bosses. With Cape Queen down, we've got our first move. Revolving Ravager. I'm going to try this out on Longma. There he is. Revolving Ravager. I'm spinning like a Beyblade. Oh, wait, that was sick. That's only the first move. And with this final Cape Queen kill, this should be all that I need, right? I mean, I'm so close to dying, but this should be it. Yes, new skill available called Slayer of Goliath. There's only one thing that I should rightfully use this move on. Now, this move is called Slayer of Goliath. So let's see what it does against Goliath himself. Let's do this. Slayer of Goliath. I've charged it up. Boom! Oh, wait, I like sliced through him. That was actually sick. I hit a wall as well. I need to try that again. Can I like use it from up top? Like it's like I'm from Attack on Titan, Slayer of Goliath. Ew. Oh, that's so cool. And I got that move as well. Oh, this was so worth the pain and suffering on all those trials. The fact that I can just do this now made getting these two cursed swords so much better. 